warm welcome to all of you who have joined us today. Welcome to the virtual session of the Bella Vista and Sydney Salesforce Developer Group. Um, thank you for registering and being a part of the today's session. We have Ankit, a Salesforce technical lead here with us today. He will be sharing about Salesforce flow features um, and uh, uh, the reactive screen components with a real-time use case with demo. Uh, before uh, proceed, uh, let me introduce myself. Um, yeah. Let me introduce myself. I am Saktivel and a senior Salesforce developer and also the community group leader for the Bella Vista, Western Sydney, Australia. I am actually available on social channels, so feel free to reach out to me anytime. And also, uh, if anyone interested to share um, any of the technical uh, knowledge to the community, please feel free to reach out to me. Any of the social channels uh, will plan accordingly for the upcoming session. Um, during the session, please use the chat window for any questions you may have, and uh, we will have a Q&A &A discussion afterward. Without any further delay, I will now hand over the virtual stage with Ankit. Over to you, Ankit. Please feel free to share your screen and start your session. I am stop sharing. Sure. Uh, thank you, Saktivel. Uh, thank you for giving me opportunity to present uh, in uh, Bella Vista and Sydney Salesforce Developer Group. So I will quickly share my screen uh, and we will discuss about like how this uh, like it's more important topic uh, for close. Okay. So let me just share my screen. Yeah. Can you please confirm everyone just like screen is visible to all? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so basically we are going to talk about in today's session is about the flows reactive screen components, right? Uh, so that is nothing. This is nothing but a, we can say very exciting new feature, uh, which is came in Salesforce flows, basically in screen flows, basically, right? Uh, because uh, whenever we have to work on the Salesforce lightning screen flows, uh, we face the problem about reactive screen, right? Like if user are inputting anything and based on that user inputs you have to do the kind of a real time calculations and show on the screen right so that is nothing but a we can say reactiveness right if user are particularly like it's similar kind of if we are using the android phones right and we open the calculator application and we just enter 10 plus 10 so it just below that the answer is displayed right uh 10 plus 10 it's 20 it's kind of a reactive net, right? So on the same screen, user are getting the output, generated output or whatever uh, they want based on the, we can say their user inputs, these are treated, okay? So these things we are going to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the, we can say example about uh, flows reactive screen component as well, okay? Yeah, so let me just introduce myself. Uh, so my name is Aniket Kohle. So I'm currently working with Mantic technologies as a technical lead okay and uh, also i am a salesforce community group leader for amravati salesforce developer group and uh, uh, we, like we are very much active in the central india region like central india trailblazer community groups uh, i have a total eight plus years of it experience and last from last uh, around seven years i am working on the salesforce platform okay uh, so this is little about introduction about me okay uh, so now let's on to the agenda what we are going to particular out in the today's session okay so we will see like introduction to the reactive screen component what are the key features are there okay some of the use cases i have highlighted are there so we will discuss that i will just share that like how what will be the we can say some use cases will be for this uh, exciting new feature okay and then how to add the reactive screen components uh, we will step see the step by step guide and also i'm going to share the some of the best practices and one to two demos that i will explain okay so this is about the agenda for today's session and next one hour we'll be going to focus on this part okay so let me introduce uh, about the reactive screen component there are two important points so in the summer 23 release salesforce has revealed with an exciting new features called as a reactive components. I already just uh, given the basic idea. If user are entering a 10 plus 10, right? I'm just giving a one calculator application. So on the same screen, user wants output, right? User don't want to go on the other next screen or something, right? 
so this particular innovation uh, will help developers and admins basically to create a dynamic and the real time user experience similar like you are know that we are using android iphone mobiles and on the same screen we want uh, data right instead of jumping to the other multiple pages and all okay so this basically will help to build a responsiveness of your components screen components right because the lightning flows are very much uh, we can say very good process automation tool we are currently using in sales on salesforce platform to build a uh, we can say uh, the very we are solving the business most of the business problem with the salesforce lightning flows right so in similar manner salesforce has introduced the responsiveness and interactivity features that is called as a reactive component okay so we are going to explore about how uh, this particularly reactive so basically i added two points in the introduction like definition and importance definition like dynamic elements in salesforce flows that uh, allow interactive and responsiveness for the user interface okay and the importance important is that enable to more engaging and user friendly experience to your salesforce user okay uh, so this is about the basic uh, definition about reactiveness okay so basically uh, as a summer 23 release reactive screen component is still in the beta feature okay uh, i will i will explain how that particularly you can enable in your org okay so uh, as currently when the summer salesforce has released in the summer 23 release the reactive component are still in beta feature okay so how to enable that i will explain that there okay so let me just jump to the uh, particularly the salesforce or okay so if you go to the salesforce your salesforce environment and just open the in the setup window process automation okay so in process automation you will see the couple of uh, settings are there so there is the another one uh, point here uh, option in a reactive display our uh, text okay so basically this this is the features that you have to enable okay make your screen flows even more interactive by making a display text component response to the same screen changes and a formula calculation okay so this is uh, we can say displayed as a text so i said that uh, reactive screen component uh, is still a beta feature okay so basically this beta feature in this all so that we can particularly enable so this this settings you have to enable first if you want to uh, we can say use this particularly reactive screen components on flows screen flows okay so this is about this one so you have to enable this uh, you have to go to the process automation setting and in the process automation setting you have to enable this particularly uh, reactive display text beta okay so this is about this one so basically reactive com components as interact uh, with the screen flows mostly okay uh, with the reactive component and responds instantly okay to user inputs and changes in the data okay i will just give the one example as well uh, let me just open the like calculator screen so we will just build that okay so i will give you that demo as well so let me jump to the presentation slides again so what will be the key features of uh, this reactive screen components okay uh, like visuals we can represent the visuals as well so we can represent with the help of text like dynamic content real time validation and improved ui ux like enhance the overall user experience uh, interface and experience so this will be the we can say i can say these are the important key features of the reactive components okay so this particularly key features like dynamic content real time validation and improvisation of ui and ux brings a greater flexibility and reactivity to the screen flows okay so obviously if if these three important and like visuals also are there okay so it will improve in the user en engagement and productivity right so before reactive screen components if i want to do some kind of a, we can say on the screen same screen either i have to build a new screen component so there will be the we can say the flow uh, will be increased right we have to create a multiple screen components and all so that things we can particularly achieve using the same screen with the help of formulas with the help of operators and we can build that okay 
so this is how particularly we can create so this will be the we can say important key features of the uh, reactive components okay and uh, now if we talk about the use cases so use cases are very pretty much simple custom wizards dynamic forms and progress tagger then custom wizards means let's say we create a step by step wizard for the data entry right dynamic forms adjust the form field based on the user selection i already given one example is that like uh, particularly you want to build a simple calculator right uh, so user will enter the number 1 number 2 and then based on that you want to do the uh, we can say calculation addition subtractions are there so that will be the so also some kind of a dynamic forms like based on the pick list field values you want to particularly so some kind of a visuals on the same screen right so that we, we can do that so that will be the also dynamic forms progress tracker like display progress dynamically as user move through the flow right so this kind of a we can say use cases are we can particularly uh, build with the help of the reactive screen components okay and obviously uh, we will consider some scenario as well how this particularly works and everything okay now how to add a reactive screen components main important is that because we have enable this setting right uh can everyone confirm like my pro salesforce environment screen is also visible so i'm just uh, confirming that uh, yes and yeah. okay okay that that's great yeah so now we will talk about so this is kind of a use cases key features and introduction okay and we can we can build this particularly reactive screen component so there will be the step by step process to do that okay uh, it it not much complex it's very easy steps for the administrators and developers okay so now let me just uh, particularly build uh, i have already created one example for, for you uh, one basic calculator i will show you okay uh, and also we will create one demo as well Uh, for the opportunity discounting calculator related uh, so we'll discuss about so just before going to that i just created one basic calculator uh, with the screen flow okay i will show you how that particularly reactiveness worked okay so let me just click on debug so what is important is that okay this particular feature will be the significant milestone for uh, developers and admins to create a more uh, we can say user friendly experience right uh, so this this will be the power of reactive components okay so if you see this is the basic component i have created and now this is the answer right and uh, let me enter number 1 let's say number 2 and if i want to do let's say addition so see answer is 30 10 plus 1 same same i am going to do subtraction minus 10 right 10 to a minus 10 obviously subtraction are there right so i just added one basic things let's say i want to change let's say 50 so see on the same screen we are particularly getting the output but previously it's not not be there right we are uh, this type this type of operations are not will be a we can say achievable with that uh, previous uh, releases flows Uh, we have to create a new screens and then we have to display the output that kind of things we have to build but now this particularly reactive components will help say administrators and developers and they can now build uh, uh, we can say responsiveness uh, screen components right so so this is how particularly reactivity works okay so this is very important point how we'll see like now we'll see like how to particularly build and everything okay so main important point is that you have to enable this automation setting for the react to skin component okay so now we'll see like access the flow builder uh, so step by step i will guide so for this i what i will do i will create one uh, flow i will take one example for this one simple screen flow okay uh so what uh, we can say example uh, which i am going to cover is that okay i am going to create one uh, example for you to build a reactive screen components with the progress bar okay 
uh, so if you are remember we have the opportunities opportunity list are there okay and uh, what user wants is user wants to display one uh, screen okay let me open that let me open the sales application so what is the client requirement is that client requirement is that on the uh, home page they want to show the one screen where they will see the opportunities list opportunity data and then user will select the opportunity and whatever the selected opportunity you have to particularly display the output okay like uh, discounting array. so if you already are know that in opportunity uh, this is let's say let's say example age installation is an opportunity and this installation amount is 50,000 INR right and now that we are let's say 20 percent discount are applicable right so this is kind of a particularly 50,000 is our amount and now the discount is applied particularly is 20 percent now user want to show so user want to show the list of opportunities here and whatever the selected opportunity you want to calculate the discounting amount so this is the one examples are already available on salesforce documentation so i'm going to take the same thing as okay so how will how will how we can build that so i will explain how the step by step we can build it okay so now let me go to here so we'll discuss about how we can build that okay importantly so now let me go to the flows this is the new screen flow that i'm going to create so first of all what i will do i will get all opportunities okay because as per the uh, requirement we want to show the all opportunities list and then user will select opportunity so simple requirement is that user select any opportunity record from table and then calculate a discount for selected opportunity so this is the one example that we have to particularly cover so what i will do i will just let's say get opportunities so this is opportunity object uh, i don't want I, I do i don't have any criteria so i just selecting none i want all records basically because i want to show all records on the uh, particularly on screen okay and now this is my so using this get record operation we are getting all opportunities and now i will create a screen flow screen okay and in this screen uh, let me let's say for example opportunity okay and let me just configure the header and footer as it is okay so this is my screen and here what i will do i will show the data table because we have the list of uh, particularly records right if you particularly in the first uh, particularly item we have get the all opportunity records so what i will do i will show the all opportunity records whichever we have uh, queried uh, in the data table okay so let's say for example i can give the any name to the data table component okay let's say opportunities list okay opportunity list we i want to give that uh, data table label whatever the label you want to display so let's say select an opportunity okay and then configure the sources like columns rows and so i want to select show particularly so data source we are already queried the opportunities right so let me select these opportunities and then i can we can configure the columns basically in the uh, data table right columns are there so i want to show the name opportunity name done another column i want to add let's say amount yeah now if you see this is kind of a data table will be added right and whatever the records are uh, fetched uh, that based on that records will display here so this is the normal particularly uh, 
screen component. Let me click it done. We will save and test it. Okay. We will first confirm everything is working. Opportunity discount calculator. We want to make sure that everything is working as expected. So let me click on debug mode. Because as of now, we are getting all opportunities and we are displaying our opportunities in the data table screen components on screen. Yeah, so if you see, select an opportunities label. So all the opportunities are displaying in the flow, right? So this is the standard data table component. We are not build any kind of a uh, customized one uh, or LWC based. It's a standard data table component are in the canvas, right? So the st standard component in screen flow. Now what is requirement is that if user is selected this opportunity, so whatever the discount has uh, applied by user based on that you have to calculate applied on this amount and calculate the show the output this is one so we have to display now so now what i will do let me we can display the selected record or anything some we can particularly display okay so we'll see how this particularly works so now let me just use a display text we can use a, any uh, field okay any field for the reactiveness, like normal text, display text field, normal, like number type, any type of fields we can particularly use for the reactiveness. Okay. I will show you as well in the documentation. Yeah. So standard screen flow components are support reactivity. Okay. These are the standards. So like address component, checkbox, choice, lookup, currency, data table, display, uh, right? Date, date, time, display text. So these are all standard screen components are support reactivity. So you can, con if you want to configure kind of a reactivity for this kind of a supported components, you can build it. So it supports full of reactivity. Okay. So this is our, so you can particularly refer this documentation for your purpose. Now let me go to the flow and here I can particularly give the name for, let's say discount. Okay. And in this, like we want to show the output. I want to show the output, like let's say, for example, opportunity. Okay. Here I want to show the selected opportunity. And here I want to particularly uh, show the discount. Okay. So this is the opportunity record. I will display based on the selection and also based on the selection, I will pick up the opportunity amount and calculate the, so we will particularly use the uh, formula field for the reactiveness. Okay. So now let me click on new resource. So here I, what I will do, I will create a formula field. Okay. So in formula field, I will build a discount calculation formula okay so discount calculation formula is very uh let's say it's a uh, straightforward okay so now let me just let's say discounted discounted amount formula okay uh, data type will be the based on your uh, we can say calculation right let's say number currency or whatever right so we can particularly select number. So we have the uh, currency or number calculations. So I'm just selecting number. And here we have to build a formula. Okay. So now let me select. So we have already the data table component, right? And we have enabled the selection. So we will use the data table component uh, variable to get the selected record. Okay. From the table, right? If you see that right, these selections are the standard. So we can get this selected record in flows uh, with the help of data table. So if, if you see, this is the particularly uh, data table component opportunity list. So we will get a selected rows and first selected road as well. If you want to get multiple selected roads, you can also use this one or you can lay first selected. So I'm using first selected row and then amount. Okay. And now let me just particularly calculate the discount. Let's say I'm just using minus operator. Then the simple formula I will apply it here. 
let's say opportunity list dot first selected row amount okay amount multiplied by uh, discount value right so let me just so instead of this one now let me click it done first here what i will do i will add the one progress bar okay uh, one second let me just select particularly i will let's say slider so this is the standard component or slider i will add this slider here actually a uh, discount percentage discount percentage discount percentage okay so this is the api name and we want to show the label so user will select uh, the percentage amount here we want to allow discount percentage up to 50% range only so we'll show so user can select here so this is the discount means user will select opportunity then length and then we will use this uh, we can say data in the formula okay so now here discounted formula will update so discounted formula uh, let's say multiplied by amount okay now let me just select let's say discounted amount ha huh. discount percentage dot value so this is the particularly a standard component we are we are using right so this is one and divide by 100 it's a normal formula we are created okay so this is our discount calculate formula like whatever the opportunity selected we have pick up the amount and then uh, multiplied by discount percentage divided by 100 so this is the one basic formula we have built we can check the syntax okay yeah syntax is valid now let me click on done and let me save it let me click on debug okay so if you see uh, this is the uh, like slider bar are there like percent discount percentage amount so we have allowed up to 50% Uh, opportunity and discount. We are showing output here, right? Let me just show the output for opportunity as well. Okay, so discount it will show the discount, and also I will add the selected opportunity. Data table dot first selected dot name. Now let me click on debug again. yeah so this is how opportunity will also display so now let me select this is the opportunity let me click go down let's say jane point sl it's opportunity so if you see it selected opportunity right and a percentage we have to apply so let me just calculate see i have applied 2% so the 2% was applied on the amount so whatever selected amount is 30000 ayana so 2% discount was applied so based on this 2% this will be the amount is calculated right so obviously we have to do the validation for amount and all so this is the one basic formula which i added so this is how reactiveness works even i showed you the calculator as well okay so as i told you that like if we can build what kind of things we can build with the reactive like custom wizard dynamic forms progress trackers right dynamic forms will be the very much uh, important uh, use case here uh, to access the form fields based on the user selection right we want to show the kind of a let's say pick list value so if some pick list values are got selected you want to show the some kind of you want to do the some kind of a calculations and then based on that you want to particularly display the uh, dynamic form fields right uh, so that we can do so i already told you that key features dynamic content real time and improved ui ux but before this before this reactive screen component uh we have to create a multiple screen right means user will click on next user will select the data from here and then we have to click on next and then next screen we have to we we need to supposed to display the output so that will be the not responsiveness right so what will be the conclusion of this particular important uh, reactive skin component is that uh, it will help particularly to make a responsive 
we can say screen for the user i already told you and this is like very important part of this uh, flows basically okay so you can particularly use this uh, kind of a user experience for the your users and obviously uh, this particularly we can say dynamic and engaging feature uh, uh, feature for that and this will build a, a very good user experience as well okay so this is this is about like so i have guided like you can particularly create a flow you can drag drop the reactive screen component on canvas and then you can define the properties and interaction and do that right this is the we can say let me open the documentation yeah reactive screen uh, we have seen about the components now the flow formula operators so basically these are the supported formula operators and functions uh, which is for the reactiveness almost all are supported okay so these are the we can say are obviously supported are there okay and the main important is that recommendation so recommendations we'll see about in the best practices as well okay important tips is that like keep it simple testing is important and documentation is also important uh, obviously these are the we can say almost every best practices in commonly right basically any salesforce is also has given the some of the recommendations for the building as reactive screens right uh, so this will will help out to build a, a good uh, exam let's like say for flow for this one okay uh, so this is about this reactive skin components and use cases uh, see like this this feature or topic are not very much big it's very easy topic just uh, we have the multiple use cases uh, in our like projects or real time environments uh, we have to build a reactor right means on the same screen user wants to do that user even user are very very lazy right right they want they don't want to click on buttons itself okay they want to just do the everything on the same screen uh, and that and like user will be the more happy instead of clicking a buttons if you are building a on the same screen so that will help to engage your users very effectively okay and this is about the basically uh, the reactive screen components are there okay yeah yeah if you have any questions you can discuss i'm open to that see like topic is very easy and uh, very much like interested i have built one example as well so if you have any questions or anything you can put on the chat as well okay so i will i will cover the uh, questions from here yeah that's great uh, guys uh, anyone have any questions feel free to uh, unmute by yourself or use the chat window how to do the error handling in these scenarios okay uh see error handling if you want to do that right so obviously uh whatever the output are generating right you can validate and obviously if you have the we can say user input parameter like user inputs are there right so definitely you can particularly build your validations things here okay like let me try to show you so i'm using normal display text here right uh, but obviously you can particularly build your validations with the on the inputs right user inputs data and all and uh, you can do that activity as well like i am just giving let's say number 1 right so obviously uh, you can validate your inputs and based on that you can particularly handle the errors and exceptions are there and uh, obviously the for based on the your formula right uh, whatever the formula things or you are building obviously if uh, the anything wrong inputs goes obviously it will particularly not generate the uh, we can say desired outputs right but still you can handle the exceptions and errors on the same yes we can display the error messages like uh, the particularly things we can use it right like on the same screen if you want to display like 
we can particularly add the visibility uh, rules and the error messages uh, and i did not explore more much but custom errors also you can explore custom errors are also there okay uh, if you want to particularly display uh, that error so that is also you can add it So most important part uh, is that like if you want to go right, you can build any kind of so it's a very straightforward and uh, easy process. It's not very much complicated are there. OK, so real time user experience within the flows, enhancing the interactivity and responsiveness. So obviously this session will at least give the idea about how this concept of reactive components are there, right? So at, uh, at least not, not much, but obviously there will be the multiple use cases even. Uh, uh, this is the one basic examples I have taken, but definitely you have the, we can see even uh, when we are working on the, we can say projects. So obviously there will be the multiple use cases uh, are there or scenarios are there. So that's the, uh, we can see very potential for this uh, reactive components, right? So obviously, and obviously these things will be the very helpful for the admins, admins and developers to create a dynamic uh, user experience. Okay. Yeah. And obviously there will be the new features and advances are definitely coming. See, from summer 23 release, this feature is still in beta. So obviously uh, there will be the definitely and I'm sure that there will be the more advances uh, are coming into this feature. And this will build a, we can see new user experience or engagements. Okay. Uh, when it will be a GA, uh, currently I'm not sure, maybe we have to check uh, like when it's going to be a GA, but roadmap are obviously published by Salesforce. And so currently like which release, it's not in my idea. Uh, yeah. But maybe indefinitely next couple of two to three re three releases, uh, it will be GA. Yeah. So uh, this is about from my side uh, for the today's session. Okay. And thank you uh, everyone uh, who joined yeah. the sessions. And uh, whatever I have gained the knowledge, I tried my best to deliver uh, with and share with you. Uh, so obviously this not much, but this some kind of pieces of information will definitely help you to explore more on this, right? So yeah, uh, yep. thank you everyone, and thank you Shakti for uh, giving me chance and opportunity to share my knowledge and experience with everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Ankit. I think um, um, you sharing uh, such an informative session, so you covered most of like a uh, uh, long waited the Salesforce Pro features that is a reactive screen component along with use case with a real time demo with a step by step guide. Uh, this will undoubtedly uh, helpful to everyone. Thank you all for joining and we look forward to seeing you in the next session. Once again, thank you and cheers and happy Christmas and uh, happy new year. We'll see you in the next session for the upcoming uh, years as well. Yeah. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you everyone.